Welcome to the Acro Image Plugin promotional video. With the Acro Image Plugin, users can enter your site and upload images from the database, change or delete them. It has a modern design and uses the Bootstrap library. Pictures are uploaded with previews. It does the operations with PHP, JavaScript and jQuery. It is very simple to use and install. The plugin allows to determine the number of pictures or file size to be uploaded. Accordingly, two situations arise. If the user has not uploaded a picture before, he will see the first loading page. If the image has already been uploaded, the uploaded image will appear here. Can change or delete the preloaded image if desired. In both cases, after the change is detected, the update button becomes active. In our example, the setting is made with a maximum 5 image upload limit. Let's upload our pictures accordingly. As you can see, after uploading 5 images, new uploads are not allowed. Clicking the button will load the images. You must have a database for the plugin to work. This database will come ready under the SQL folder. The first one is the database file, and the second one is just a table file. If you have your own database in your project, it will be sufficient to just import the table file. Pictures are saved in the database with a reference number. This reference number is defined according to your project. For example, in an e-commerce site, the user can upload the pictures of the product to be advertised, and these pictures can be saved with the product number, or users can create their own gallery on a blog or social media site used by users. In this case, registration can be made with the user number. It doesn't matter what name or extension the pictures are saved on your computer. The plugin gives the images its own number and saves it with the PNG extension. Now let's look at the installation of the plugin. The file you receive comes with the website so that you can easily examine the plugin. The necessary file for installing the plugin is in the folder named Plugin. The name of this folder may change depending on the version update. Include the relevant folder in your project. Now let's move on to our text editor. To introduce the plugin to the project, just copy and paste the selected lines wherever you want in your project. Then include the database file in your project. But you already have a database, so you don't need to include this file. In this case you can delete the codes shown in the image upload.php file. You can also delete the relevant space in the file in the operations folder. Since we will use the database that comes with the plugin, we do not do this deletion. Then specify how many images you will allow to be uploaded on your site. Even if you change the name of the database table you import, don't forget to change this field as well. The last thing you need to do is to introduce pick refer no in the text field as comment lines. For example, if the user will upload their own pictures, you can extract the user number from your database. Just match it with pick refer no. For the e-commerce site, you can introduce it as the product number. If you want to determine the size of the file to be uploaded, enter the maximum file size you will accept in the fields shown. Registration is done via a form and begins and ends in the fields shown. If you want to save inputs such as the user's name, surname or the name of the product in addition to the image, you can add them to the beginning of the form. You can determine these according to your project, and you can do it by processing the file in the operations folder for the record. Thanks for watching. You can also review the help file documentation for installation procedures.